Hey everyone, I'm Madeline. I'm a second year here in the Human Computer Interaction Master's Program at Georgia Tech, and I'm going to walk you through our student lounge and we'll get to know the day to day of some of our master's students. Let's take a look. Hey everyone. Hi, Maddie. Hey. Can you tell us a little bit about yourselves for the day in the life and let us uh, learn about what you're working on? Yeah. Sure. So I'm Brianna Brown. I'm a first year um, HCI master's student and <laughs> I'm Prachi and I'm also a first year master's student. And Brianna and I were working on a project together. Yes. That's great. And so you both are in the first year those classes. So can you tell us a little bit about what those classes are like? Yeah. So one of the classes that we're required to take is the research methods class. So in this class, we learn about different research methods that you can use when you're designing something for people. So I'm working on a VR navigation system to help people with visual impairments navigate the VR space. And here is my project. That's so cool! Can you tell us a little bit about the design element, kind of complementing the research methods class? Yes. So the design uh, foundations class is also a core class which is mandatory to uh, that, that needs to be taken in the first semester yeah. and in this you primarily focus on the processes and techniques for designing computational things that people use yeah. and um, the focus is on methods uh, of evidence-based design uh, you learn about uh, basically how to ideate how to brainstorm how to uh, take that and turn those into I like you know requirements and uh, design a product or design and then uh, basically do some you know evaluation sessions and turn that and then keep you know iterating and improving your design so it kind of takes you throughout like the design process so she I know you've been working on your resume mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about how the programs helped you prepare for your career yeah of course so right now I'm kind of trying to incorporate some feedback that I got from the recent PPP session okay yeah you know just to make it look better to employers so I, I know I mentioned PPPs, so it's a required courses in our program where all of our students uh, are required to gather together to attend all kinds of career-related activities. So recently we had this uh, resume review session uh, where students kind of teamed up and uh, reviewed each other's uh, resumes and provided some feedback. A couple of weeks ago we had this activity where students got to connect with uh, recent alumni uh, on some one-on-one -on -one conversations students can kind of uh, talk about their uh, career development plans and also ask those alumni to review their portfolio and provide some suggestions uh, based on their resume. Looks like you've been making some great progress. This yeah. looks really cool. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying excited. to make some high degrees. Right, right. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, it's a lot to, to think about. Um, I know, Maria Paula, we've been working on thinking resume-wise and projects and how it all makes sense together. Can you tell us a little bit about how the programs helped you prepare for your career in UX? Yeah, so basically what C just said, um, all of that, and also like, we have this master's project that we can do um, in two semesters that help us, for example, I'm um, trying to polish my research skills for UX, so I'm taking the lead on that in my project, and my teammate is taking the lead on the design. So I think the program really prepares you not only to get in those connections, and also the resume and portfolio, but it also helps you out to do something that you're passionate about and that you can um, do before you graduate and you go into a work field. Yeah, oh that's yeah. super fun. I think Yogavir may or may not be working on his yeah, master's, right? he is right there in the book, so you should go talk awesome. to him. Yeah, yeah, let's go bother him. All right, thanks guys. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what the master's project is for you? Yeah, of course. So the master's project, as you said, um, is a year-long project in the second year of the program where you hone in on all of your skills that you learn in the first year. So the research skills that you learn in research methods and the design skills that you learn in design foundations in the first semester. You're just going through all of those in your own way, in your own project, and you're honing in those skills so you're industry ready. Awesome. That's really cool. Are there certain skills that you're um, focusing on for your project? Yeah, so right now um, I'm in the research phase of my project, so I'm really focusing in on all of the research skills. So we just created a screener survey to send out to all the users for recruitment, and then we're gonna basically ask them about all the pain points, all the problems that we're facing. Well, awesome.
Awesome. Thanks so much, Yudhvir. That was really great to get to know you and the Master's Project at large. Of course. To learn more about our program and everything we have going on, you can get to know us through the podcast that we have, the HC Hive. You can also look at our Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and we're excited for you to get to know our students and our program a little bit more. Can you all be chatting too? So it's not like deathly quiet. Keep talking to yourself, Max. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Oh. <laughs> Yay!